Okay, let's talk herbs a little bit. Uh, I forgot to get the container, but this here is supposed to be sage, and I don't know if it's going to make it. I bought it at um, the grocery store where you can buy the fresh herbs and they still have the roots on them. And it was more expensive than these. There's actually one, two, three plants here. But I thought I'd give it a try, and it doesn't look like it's making it. Now, I just planted these, I believe, yesterday. And this is actually a window box that I have uh, next to my kitchen sink. And I brought it out here because it was just easier to make the video. And fortunately, I have an ant problem. But anyway, uh, so here I've got basil, parsley, rosemary. Oh, I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time. Get it? I don't have time. Anyway, uh, so I just wanted to show you that I was doing that. And then I was looking over here, and this is a big mess. It was a sandbox when we first moved in here, and we never really have done anything with it. And I just got to be thinking, I can maybe plant my potatoes from now on in here. Maybe I'll give that a try next time. I'll probably forget, but I don't know if I did get enough sun, because this is a covered kind of covered porch and there's a big tree right here that my dad really loves when it's nice back here although he moved up to Oregon so he's got his own trees but so anyway uh, another thing I wanted to show you was as I had mentioned I watch a lot of YouTubes and I've come across um, quite a few people's uh, channels or whatever they call them and there's this one gal, I don't know what her name is, but her her name for her YouTube is Canadian Patriot 1973. And I'll put her name in, in the comments below. And she has some pretty good videos. Her garden is kind of small in the back and she's just starting it, but she has great recipe uh, videos. She evidently owned her own pizza pizza shop at one time. So she shows you how to make pizza dough and prelogies. I don't know how to say it, but anyway. Uh, another thing that she had showed was that she saw on a video that you can sprout your green onions. And if you can see, that's about three days growth. And I cut them off straight, and this one's starting to grow. So I'm regrowing my green onions just by dipping them in the water. And in my herb box, I just stuck a couple green onions. Here's one. And it's just starting to sprout up a little bit. So I don't know that it works if you just throw them in the, the soil like that. But definitely something's happening to them when you put them in water. And I'm really bad at keeping every container. This uh, was a jack-in-the-box uh, float container, uh, ice cream float. And I kept it. And uh, as you've already seen, I've got the... Um, you've seen a lot of things already in, in the few videos that I've done that are all recyclable. Uh, another great person who does a great video is called Donna. Her video... Uh, her first set of videos is just called Donna's Gardens. And she's kind of the one that got me interested into trying to do my own videos. And I will post her name as well, and you can go check out um, the videos that she's posted. She used to live in Florida, and she started a square foot, excuse me, a square foot garden from, from scratch. So she shows you from the very beginning of how she laid it out and how it worked. And she followed the square foot gardening book. Anyway, she tells you all about it in her videos. Uh, my parents had done a square foot gardening when they lived in California. I'm not quite sure what they do up in Oregon, but uh, and they loved it. My dad had raised it high for my mom so she didn't have to bend and do it. And it was, it was really pretty awesome. I haven't uh, done exactly the quote unquote square foot uh, my husband built me a box before I moved out here, but then we moved, and 
brought the box out in pieces and the box never got put back together but he says he'll make me a new one so we'll have to see on that but mainly I just wanted to show you this herb garden and that uh, I don't think buying them I don't know if this is going to come back or not but I don't think buying the herbs in those packets you can buy in the grocery market to say fresh herb I don't think that you know is going to work and it, it's actually more expensive than buying these plants here so you know you you learn you live and learn I guess so that's it for this video